I feel like we just did this. I feel like we just did too. Well, it's September, and that means it's time for Anthony, a non-keto person, to eat all of the keto snacks in the keto box. And maybe bash them. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Joe. And I'm Anthony. And this is Two Crazy Ketos. And here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos, we do product reviews, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. Now, you can find us on all kinds of social media like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. That's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to hit that little bell button so that you are notified every time we upload a new video. So it is September, which means it's time for another keto box. Yes, I'm ready to try some of the food. So if you don't know what a keto box is, this is a monthly subscription box that has, comes with, I don't know, somewhere between 10 to 12 different types of keto snacks. It is a great way to try some of the different keto snacks and foods that are out there without buying a whole case because a lot of them you have to buy like 10, 12, 15 of them at a time. So this way you get to try something and if you like it, you can reorder it and it also comes with a coupon codes to buy all of the different things that are inside of here. Now, if you're interested in getting one, we do have a link down below as well as a coupon code, which is two crazy ketos. That'll help save some money on your very first box. So if you're new to our channel, every month we get the keto box and instead of Rachel joining me with this box, Anthony joins us and he is not a keto person but he loves food. And I love to be honest. And he likes to be honest. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through everything in this box. We're gonna try everything in here and we're also gonna go over the price and the nutrition facts. So are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, here we go. So Anthony, for some reason, has decided he controls what we're going to try and when we're gonna try it. And I also give you what I wanna read first. Let's see, what I wanna give you. Pistachios? I've got to review pistachios. Yep. Okay. Wonderful pistachios. <clears throat> I now, wonder what's in them. I will say now, pistachios, they taste delicious. They are a little bit higher on the carbs compared to other types of, you know, keto friendly nuts. So um, in here, this is one serving, which is pretty good actually, 130 calories. It is, let's see, how much fat? 10 grams of fat five grams of protein, six total carbs, two grams of dietary fiber, two grams of total sugars. Um, the one thing I will say if you are gonna eat pistachios, get them this way. Like eating them in the shell is definitely going to make them take, you know. A lot longer to eat. It's gonna take a lot longer to eat it that way because otherwise if you're getting them where they're already shelled, you're just gonna be like spooning them in your mouth and you're gonna eat a lot more. Nuts are very dangerous for me because I just eat way too many. Of course, Anthony just wants them not in the shell. I don't know why we're trying these. Like, we've had pistachios. pistachios. We've had this on them. It's a pistachio. I love pistachios. Not the best nut. I would say, if you are going to buy them, buy them like this. It, it does cost a little bit more, but at least you're getting a serving and you know what you're doing. So if you want to get these, you can get them on Amazon. And it's $16 for 24 bags. That's pretty good. It's less than a dollar a bag for these. Crunchy Cheese by Intact. Intact. We've actually had these before. Uh, it's been a while since we've had them. They have a lot of different flavors. And Rachel and I got to meet the owners last year at KetoCon. All right, so this is just spicy flavor. So the ingredients are Chilean buttery cheese, which is pasteurized semi-skimmed cow's milk, salt lysosome, microbial enzyme, cheese culture, and it's got chili, coriander seeds, cumin, salt, and it contains milk and egg. No duh. Um, <laughs> There's two servings in this container. It's 80 calories per serving, 6 grams of fat, less than 1 grams of total carbs, 0 grams of fiber, 0 grams of sugar, 5 grams of protein. Okay. Now, in the past, I've always felt that these could use some more salt. They actually dehydrate them. Wow, that needs some more flavoring. <laughs> Let me see. I had to put something in my mouth. I don't even know what it is. I mean, they're good. I don't think they do. A slight bit of spice at the very end. I if you nothing. put it on your tongue, 
but kind of needs some salt. Needs salt. At least that's how I feel. Price on those, $15.99 for six bags. So it's about $2.66 a bag. Next up. Wow. Top seeds. So these are sunflower, sesame, flax, pumpkin, chia, and hemp seed crackers. We actually have a recipe on making a flaxseed cracker. I will leave a link for that right over Anthony's head. Uh, super easy. One ingredient, and then you can add some spices if you want to have some more ingredients. So the ingredients in this are top seeds mix, which is sesame seeds, sunflower seeds, flax seeds, pumpkin seeds, chia seeds, hemp seeds. Then you have arrowroot, olive oil, and sea salt. A serving size, are you ready for this, is six crackers. Okay. But what is six crackers? Because I'm telling you now, as somebody- How many who, servings are in the container? There's four and a half servings in this container. That's one, that, that's one serving. So it's six crackers, but like, okay, we're gonna, we gotta open this up anyway, right? Mm-hmm. So- What's a cracker? Six crackers, so- is, Oh, that's a cracker. Is that a cracker? That's a cracker. Or is that a cracker? Oh. Or let's see, what are you doing? Or is that a cracker? I'm eating it. Yeah, but we haven't gone over the rest of the nutrition. Okay. Oh. That's pretty good. I think yours are better. It's very, very thin. It's a cracker. I don't know. It's a cracker. You can see how the arrowroot is kind of like making it so you don't get as many seeds as opposed to when you make my thing, it's like all seed. Okay, let's go over the nutrition on this. So six crackers, but you're gonna really have to weigh it out because there's four and a half servings in this container and a serving is 170 calories. So if you were to eat this whole container, you're, <clears throat> you're eating like a lot, a, like a thousand calories. 30 grams is a serving size, 13 grams of fat, four grams of protein, 11 total carbohydrates, three grams of dietary fiber. Wow, that is kind of high in total car in, in net carbs. So that would be 11 minus three. That's eight total eight. carbs per serving. That is kind of high. It's a little high. I don't know about this. I probably would not buy this. Make our flaxseed crackers. Yeah. We have a couple of different ways. You can make it with flaxseed meal. I'll leave a link down below. Or you can make it with just with the seeds themselves. Price on these, $7.99. Keto cookies. Our carbs come from almonds. All right. Okay. We'll see about that. So ingredients are blanched almonds, organic guar gum and or xanthan gum, erythritol, butter, which is just cream, milk, and salt, sugar-free dark chocolate flavored drops, unsweetened chocolate, erythritol, cocoa butter, stevia extract, sunflower lecithin, tapioca fiber, dried egg whites, flavor, natural flavors, salt, cocoa powder, baking powder, monk fruit extract, and stevia extract. They named a lot of the same things twice, didn't they? Okay, we're gonna pause for one second. I don't like this sticker. Okay, is it so a sticker? Saying, oh, it it's is. a sticker that says our carbs are coming from all, from our almonds. But reading the ingredients, there's carbs in erythritol. There's carbs in sugar-free dark chocolate flavor drops. Which tell me what's in those? There's sugar in. I'm, I'm assuming that they forgot to put like a parenthesis yeah. for unsweetened chocolate erythritol, cocoa butter, yeah. stevia extract, some or less than tapioca fiber because that's what would be in those chocolate. But all of those things have carbs. They do. So don't put a sticker saying that the carbs are coming only from almond flour. There's two servings in this. So a serving size is four cookies, 140 calories per serving, nine grams of fat, 12 total carbs, three grams of fiber, um, less than one gram of sugar, and six grams of sugar alcohol. So that's six net carbs for the whole thing, right? No, wait. Yes. 12 or nine, three, nine, three, so three, three net, net carbs. carbs per serving. So six for the whole bag. Yeah. All right. I don't know. The, this kind of looks like a play on high key and they're really going to have to be up there to be better than high key. It smells like a chocolate chip cookie. I'm good. They're not good. Oh. Okay. I didn't even need to lick the cookie to know it's not gonna taste good. Okay. Here's my thought. You saw his thought. It's gotta be nice. No, at all. Okay. 
number one, they kind of taste stale, right? Why well, I didn't eat it. They're, they're kind of stale. They're, they're certainly not crunchy like the high key ones. Um, there is a large cooling effect to these. I mean, it's got a, I mean, it is like, it's like I get on my tongue. It's like I just in my mouth. It is like on my tongue. Very, like, yeah, not that good. Like, buy the high key cookies. The price on these are $15 for three bags. So it's the same price as the high key cookies. I'll leave a link for high key. If you want like little mini, like famous Amos, those kind of cookies, have the high key cookies. They're going to be much better and they're the same price. All right, next. Fine, you can give me this. This is a good thing. <laughs> now you get a new one. <laughs> this is a good thing too. <laughs> okay, Hekka Good Foods. This is a chocolate sea salt. Um, we've had Hekka bars before. Honestly, some of the flavors I find really good. Some of the flavors I find like not so tasty, kind of bland. Um, Ingredients in this. Almonds, allulose, whey protein isolates, solu soluble tapioca fiber, unsweetened chocolate, erythritol, cocoa powder, uh, cocoa butter, natural flavor, sea salt, sunflower lecithin, contains almond and milk. So it is does have a lot of allulose. So they tell you right here on the back, 26 total carbs, seven grams of dietary fiber, four grams of erythritol, 13 grams of allulose, two net carbs. Okay, so getting over to the nutrition, the rest of it, Serving size is one bar, 190 calories, 14 grams of fat, 10 grams of protein, 24 total carbohydrates, seven grams of dietary fiber, four grams of sugar alcohol, and then it was 13 grams of allulose. So it's two net carbs. Uh, kind of high on total carbs for me personally. Everybody's different. I like to keep my bars at the total carb of probably usually no more than like 16, 17. Occasionally I'll take a higher one. At least this one, it's not fiber. It's a lot of allulose. Okay, and again, I've had these. I haven't had this flavor and they're a hit or miss for me. Oh Ooh, my God. That is melty. That looks good, doesn't it? I kind of don't want to even try a bite of that. I'm waiting for a reaction. This doesn't look appetizing. It's just melted. It's not good. There's a sourness to it. <laughs> no. I'm good. I'm still chewing. That's not good. Um, I don't know. I actually think this is one of the better ones. It is not super sweet. I it's do sour. Find it's not very sweet considering the amount of allulose that I put in there. And again, it's very melty. I mean, it is Florida, but it's inside of the house. And 74 I mean, degrees in here. It is very, very melty. Uh, this flavor is okay. I don't know. I, I'm just you don't not taste a that weird sour state taste? No. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Okay, price on the Hekka bars, $39 for 12, so it's like three and a quarter a bar. If you go to their website, we don't have a link or anything like that, but I know if you go to the website, there's always like a 20% off coupon if you've never ordered from them before. Again, this is usually a hit or miss. People either really like it or they don't like it at all. Uh -uh. That's not for me. All right, now, because you like this one so bad, I'm gonna do it. Super coffee. Okay, we have a link for these and a coupon code. I'll leave it down below. We love super coffee. All right, ingredients, Colombian coffee, milk, protein, isolate, cocoa powder, MCT oil, natural flavor, potassium phosphate, monk fruit, organic green coffee, caffeine, and Jillian gum. Contains milk. Um, one bottle is a serving size, 80 calories for the bottle, three grams of fat, four grams of total carbs, two grams of fiber, less than one gram of sugar, so it's two net carbs. What flavor is this? This is mocha. mocha. They have a lot of different flavors. That I, I, I love the mint chocolate one. I saw them selling this at Walmart for a dollar. They oh really? That is cheap. They were on clearance. Which Walmart? On 441. I will be going there. It was it was like in the back clearance part. Really? It might be gone. So the average. Oh no 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 wait. Honestly, the price on these is like $34 for 12 bottles. So it's about $3 a bottle. I know a lot of times you can find them in like Whole Foods and stuff. I'm gonna shake it. 
The cool thing about these is they're also shelf stable until you open them. So you can order a case of them and keep them in a closet. So a lot of times they'll go on clearance or they'll be like half price. And what do you think? I'm not really a coffee drinker. No, you're not. But if you like, it's like okay. the Starbucks like frappuccinos yeah. that you would normally buy like in Target, those little glass bottles. I feel like it also needs to be cold. It does need to be cold. It doesn't taste that good when it's warm. But it is good. It is. It's, it's, it's good. Okay, so like I said, $34 for 12. We have a coupon code down below. Of course, like Anthony's saying, sometimes you can find them on clearance. Ayata. Ayata. We've had these. We've had, this is Unami flavor. Unami? Tamari oh. and apple cider vinegar coated roasted sunflower kernels. Wow. It says Unami is a savory taste equals deliciousness. We've used rich tamari and balanced it with a tang of apple cider vinegar. Modern and yummy. This is not your mama's salt and vinegar. Okay. Servings, two in this container. Didn't this usually have like a little spout on the top? No. I thought it had like a little twist spout. What was the one that had the little twist spout? Oh, um, it was a chocolate type spread thing. No, 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 no. It was uh, pumpkin seeds or it's uh, sunflower seeds. Okay, it's two servings. Serving size is a quarter of a cup or 28 grams, 170 calories per serving, 15 grams of fat, 6 grams of protein, 6 total carbohydrates, 3 grams of dietary fiber. The ingredients are organic sunflower kernels, organic tamari, which is water, organic soybeans, salt, and organic alcohol, or, uh, apple cider vinegar powder, which has maltodextrin, apple cider vinegar, food starch, modified, and sunflower oil, and sea salt. So not the super cleanest ingredients in here. And it is hard to find one of those salt and pepper, uh, or salt and vinegar, like, coatings that doesn't have maltodextrin yeah. in it. Yeah. I could have sworn that this was the brand that had like a little twist top. Oh, what? I don't really smell any salt and vinegar. I don't taste any salt and vinegar. What? This is just salted sunflower and seeds. And not even super salted at that. It's definitely not worth the ingredients. They gotta dig for it. No. No. I Don't mean, buy this flavor. They're, 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 they're good. They're good sunflower seeds, but if you're looking for salt and vinegar, this Not ain't this it. One. And then you're adding in, it's got maltodextrin and food starch and everything else. Price on those are $20.72 for eight bags. So two sixty dollars a bag. That's a lot. <clears throat> All right, my turn. Pork? Artisanal fried pork rinds. So another pork rind. I thought they were. I thought they were um, croutons. All right. I don't know. They really vacuum sealed this bag. Are man. they going to be able to compete with porking good? All right. Where are the ingredients down here? Man, they really vacuum this bag up. At least there ain't no air in this. I'm gonna give them that. Fried pork skins, sea salt, maltodextrin, black pepper, toyo, torula yeast. Natural flavors, sea flour and or sunflower oil, onion powder, natural smoke flavor, garlic powder, citrus acid, and yeast extract. Um, oh my goodness. Serving size is half an ounce and there's four servings in this bag? Are you kidding me? Well, that's normal for pork wow. rinds. 80 calories per serving, four and a half grams of fat, zero total carbs, zero fiber, zero sugar. Eight grams of protein. I'm gonna tell you now, based on those ingredients, don't go by zero total carbs. There is a carb in there. It may be less than one, but there is definitely a carb based on those ingredients. What flavor is this? Smoky black pepper and sea salt. I was going to say, like when I was researching for the price for this, they're available in Walmart. So I was like, ooh, yes, cool. A good flavored pork rind. Based on those ingredients, I would not buy this. I wouldn't buy this. Like, I don't understand why pork rind companies can't just cook their pork rinds in That's pork That's a good fat. pork rind. Yeah. You can have that. That's a good pork rind. It's got good flavor. I've I got some good flavor in there. That has good flavor. I will give them that, but I don't like the ingredients. It is good. Well, you're gonna be happy if you like that. Now, if you don't mind, if you don't mind the bad oils and that kind of stuff, have at it. Um, because they are very inexpensive. So I found them in Walmart and it's $3 for a four ounce bag, which is double that bag for $3. Wow. 
So that bag would be $1.50 in Walmart. So Dang. I will give them this. It's very inexpensive, but I don't like the fact that they're fried in, like, not in pork fat. I think they're good. I didn't say they don't taste good. I don't like the ingredients. There you go. Sun Yum. Sunflower dip and spread. Well, we're going to Well, would pork... you look at that? Well, you want to use that or a pork rind? No, I use the cracker. Okay. So, so there's two pork. cups here. So the ingredients in this are water, sunflower seeds, sunflower oil, granulated garlic, salt, balsamic vinegar, citric acid, and lemon peel powder. So it says nutrition. There's eight servings in this cup. Eight servings in just this? A serving size is two tablespoons. 110 calories per serving. Um, 10 grams of fat, two grams of protein, two total carbohydrates. So if you eat the entire thing, you're eating 16 total carbs. One gram of dietary fiber. So that would be one net carb per serving. Now don't spit it out. Are we using this or a pork rind? I feel like a pork rind would be a this better. This smells like hummus. I dropped it. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Let's try it with a pork rind. That is really good. That's really good. Here's a hummus. Hold up. That is really, really good. Like, the closest thing you're going to get to hummus. I'm, I'm impressed with this. So this is available on Amazon. I'm going to leave a link down below. Price on this on Amazon, it's $15 for four cups. What so, about the price of hummus? So you get two of these packages for $15. So what is that, $7.50? So what, about $3.75 per cup? So that's, that's not bad at all. I will say that, that that's is very really, easy to go past what you're not supposed to eat. Yeah, that is really good. I, I don't see anybody, I'm, I am tell you I right would now, eat that. I'm definitely not going to be eating only one serving of that. Though. Yeah, I have a feeling we already ate more than one serving combined, both of us. Okay, Here, I'll let you do another one. Next one, Hilo Life. We've had these before. We've had some. They've had a couple of different flavors. I've actually liked them. So this is very similar to the Keto Farms. This is Hilo Life piece of pizza. Okay. Okay. So. The ingredients in this are walnut pieces, mozzarella cheese, which is pasteurized milk, salt, cheese cultures, and enzymes, pizza seasoning, which is buttermilk powder, salt, tomato powder, onion powder, garlic powder, and spices, a yeast extract, natural flavor, mozzarella cheese, which is cultured milk, salt, and enzymes, whey powder, acacia gum, cheddar cheese, which is cultured milk, salt, and enzymes, Romano cheese, which is milk, cheese, cultures, salt, and enzymes, Sunflower oil, which is uh, disodium phosphate, paprika extract, and sunflower oil. I wish they didn't have the sunflower the oil. The war and peace menu of just a lot, a of, lot of stuff. A lot of cheese. I know. So one serving per container. Serving size is one package. 250 calories per serving. 21 grams of fat. 10 grams of protein. Six total carbs. Two grams of dietary fiber. So I will say this. I'm not a big fan of the sunflower oil. But when you compare this to Keto Farms, that is a big serving. So that is a full bag. I mean, the bag is stuffed. Ready? Yes. Here we go. Yeah, there's a lot in a serving here. I'm trying to find you a nut. There's a piece of cheese and a nut. I'm pretty good. Dang. Oh my gosh, that is really good. That's really good. Where the Honestly. I would, way better than these things. I would take just the cheese without the walnuts. Yeah. That's like eating a combo. That reminds me of pizza combos, mm -hmm. doesn't it? Not? It does. That is really good. Price on these. $15 for six bags, $2.50 oh. a bag. So that's a normal price for those. Yeah. All right, and I'm always ending it on a meat stick. <laughs> Fire Creek Snacks. 
Original flavor, hickory smoked. Ingredients, beef and pork, salt, salt, sugar. Encapsulated citric acid, cultured celery juice powder. Oh, cultured celery juice. Celery powder, sea salt, spices, garlic, and onion powder, and collagen casing. No nutrition? No nutrition. I will put the nutrition right here along the bottom. I'll look it up on their website. It's got, got some good flavor. I've had better. Like a lot better. It's okay. It's really soft. I don't... It's softer okay. than Country Archers, and theirs is really soft, and I don't like how soft this one is. It's okay. It's kind of got... It's got an okay flavor, but it's kind of like a weird tang at the end. What do you think? I'm not going to finish it. You're not going to finish it? I'm not going to finish it. And I usually finish them. Okay, price on those, $40 for 20 sticks. So that's $2 a meat stick. That's a normal price. I don't know. It's, it's like not the best one I've ever had. It's far from the best one. So that's everything? Yes. So that is this month's keto box. Um, what did you think of this month's box? I feel like this was a good box. This was a good box. There was a lot of good stuff in mind. A couple things you weren't a big fan of, but Where overall... The awful cookies are this. This is the worst thing in this box right oh, here. Overall, I don't think it was... I think. I mean, yeah, the cookies weren't great, but you had a good variety. This, I think, is the hit. Yeah. This is the find. The, I mean, these were really good, but this is the find. No. Like, I will be reordering this good. stuff. And these for me. I love well, for these you, things. those, I'm not a big fan of that. But I will definitely be reordering this. And, of course, like Super Coffee, awesome product. I love Super Coffee. So that's this month's box. Let us know down in the comments section if you've tried any of these products. Let us know what you think of the products if you have tried them and which one of these you would want to be trying the most. If you like seeing videos like this, check out our whole playlist, which you can find right over there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which you can find right over here. And whether you take a look at that or you're going to take a look at that, no, don't forget to subscribe to our channel by hitting this button right here and hit that little bell button so that you are notified every time Anthony tries some different keto foods and gives you his honest opinion. Until next month. Bye. bye.